So you may have seen this case in the news. It's in relation to the police officer who signed a settlement agreement a couple of years ago, waiving her rights and settling her claims in relation to discrimination. Now, when she signed the settlement agreement, contained within those terms was a clause that said that she would not make any disparaging or derogatory remarks about her employer. Now, this is standard practice for settlement agreements. They do normally include such a clause. And as a result of that clause, and then subsequently publishing a book which contained a lot of derogatory comments and disparaging remarks about her employer, she was then required to pay back half of the £120,000 compensation she received from them. So she received compensation for waiving her rights, but also for the terms that were contained in the settlement agreement. And because she had written this book, which was essentially laying bare all of the details about her employment and all the terrible things that happened to her, the uh, Met took her to court to try to obtain an injunction to stop the book from being published. But rather than go through those proceedings, they agreed with her that she would pay back half the money. Now, this story has come out on the basis that, of course, what they were essentially trying to do was trying to gag her and not allow her to make those claims in her book. And it does raise an interesting question about settlement agreements, because ordinarily within a settlement agreement, it will state that you can continue to make protected disclosures or whistleblow about things that have gone on in your employment. But in this case, she wasn't actually whistleblowing. She was making comments in a book. So if you're asked to sign a settlement agreement by your employer, then don't be surprised if it contains similar clauses.